Hi everyone, welcome to week 47 of a grid design every week. This week we're going to work on the diamond grid again and um, it's just a simple little um, diamond design. I'll show you um, a sample that I did on an old um, uh, class sample and luckily now that Esther has shown us the easy path with the diamond grids um, it's going to be easy to stitch out so come on over we're actually working on a real quilt today so um, this will be fun all right so let's look at what it's what we're going to do this is our design so you can see this is a little tiny half inch diamond grid and um, with just a little teardrop in it and this one, I did a little stem in the teardrop, but I'm not going to do that on my quilt. So, um, but essentially it's going to look like that. So it's really pretty and quite easy now. All right. So we're working here. I have gray fabric, which makes it a little bit hard for me to see my blue lines. So bear with me if I sew slowly. And I've done a few lines. What I want to show you here is... Um, I've added this row of echo quilting next to my main motifs and the echo quilting is done in the same thread I'm doing my grid design in and that's going to give me a little pathway to use um, when I need to travel from one row to the next. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see that and we'll get started. So we're going to just um, stitch down our diamond to the base of the diamond, add our little um, teardrop, and come over here, and then go do our next diamond. just going really slowly because with the light turned out on my machine it's hard for me to see my blue lines so I want to make sure I'm hitting that intersection of the diamond above above every time all right so here you see we're at that um, line of echo quilting and in my book if you have my book I talk about why that is so important um, to add that line of echo quilting. Talk about it in the very first chapter of the book. Uh, we're, we're making a video. Hi, honey. Hello. Bye, honey. <laughs> Sorry, people. All right. I need to have a little do not disturb sign on the door, but somehow I think it wouldn't matter. So I've talked about this before, but when you're adding a little something, embellishment to your design, you always want to make it big enough to, so that it shows. You don't want to do the work of adding something and have it so small that you can't even see it. All right, we are down to the middle. We've got a funny little um, spot here in the corner I'm just going to add 
the top of a tear drop. And here we'll add a partial one. really hard for me to see that spot that I'm aiming for when I'm heading back this way. Um, like I said, with the camera I can't have my curtain open. Oops, I totally missed that line. Can't have the light on on the machine, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see so please forgive my mistakes. Um, and you'll notice I'm using my open toe foot. This one, when visibility is really important, as it is with a lot of these grid designs, the open toe free motion foot is uh, very key to success. Oh, all right, let me readjust everything. There we go. See, we're gonna see what we've got here is the top part of the diamonds on our next row. So right here I'll just add a little the top of a teardrop um, and that will fool the uh, whoever's looking at your quilt it'll fool the eye so it looks like it's a partial design. And this one we have a bigger diamond so we can do a little bit bigger. There we go. Oops, almost forgot to add my teardrop. You can see I've got a little pucker happening here. I'm just going to use my stiletto and ease that into um, that line of stitching I just did. Um, hopefully it won't show up too badly. Partial teardrop there. All right, we're gonna travel down here. You can see I got a pretty good pucker going on there, but I'm gonna hope I can just work it in. I'm not gonna agonize about it too much. Try to ease that through.
Almost done. more here and I will pull it out so you can see it Have, oh, you know what? I forgot. See that? I forgot that teardrop right there. I'm just going to scooch on over there. I'll travel down my um, echo quilting line. Right. Teardrop on that one. There we go. Okay. So, there is our design. It's quite pretty. Let me um, cut those threads, and I'll show you the back. Alright, so can you see that okay? Alright, let's have a look at the back. And there it is. Voila! So, that's our very simple diamond with a teardrop. And I like it. I think it looks really nice in there. All right. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, thanks for bearing with me through the puckers and the poor visibility. But, um, you know, these things happen. This is real life. So um, join me again next week for another beautiful grid-based quilting design. And don't forget, if you are interested in my book or any of my teaching DVDs or the um, practice panels for doing different grid designs, check out my website, quintessentialquilting.com. All right, thanks. Bye.